These colourful objects you see behind me are kites. And there's nothing looks better in the sky than a good kite flying on a, on a fine uh, breezy day. I thought today I'd show you how to make a kite because there's nothing, uh, uh, nothing worse than making a kite and then going out and finding it doesn't fly. So I thought if I'd showed you how to make a real good sure flying kite, uh, you'd be able to make one and go out and have a lot of fun with it. There are kite clubs all over the world of people who have made a, almost a career of flying kites, and I think you ought to enjoy it uh, and, and join in with them. So let's start with this, um, the materials we'll need for it. We'll need uh, some spars, three spars of the same length because we're going to make a six-sided kite. And uh, you'll need some cover paper, you'll need some uh, cord, some glue, scissors, um, a little ring, I'll tell you about that later, and some crepe paper. Now, the first thing we must do with this, uh, one of these spars is divide it into five equal parts. The reason for this is we'll give you the proportion uh, for the tying the cross pieces. Uh, we need the cross pieces to be tied one division from each end. And if we divide any length of kite, uh, spar into five, that will give us the right proportion. We're going to tie those like so. Next thing we've got to do is to put a slot at each end of, um, of those spars. And I'll just come around here and do that. And I'm using a, um, a metal cutting saw here. I'll only make a fine slot uh, at about a half a centimetre in, like so. And we'll uh, you do that with each spar at each spar's end. Now, having done that, we're going to tie the spar across um, at the end of that first division with a ni nice, neat um, square lashing. We'll do it like so, and we'll tie this quite firmly. And I like to use a rectangular spars. These are white pine spars, and if you can't get those, dowling's all right, but you'll need to be very careful with dowling because it, it moves around a lot because it's round but the square stuff sit quite well. And the thing about a kite is that um, you must have it well balanced and absolutely dead true. Now that's a good square uh, lashing there and we'll do that with the other piece there as well. And the square lashing will give you a, um, a sturdy, well-made kite. Now there is the frame. We've got to put the cord around the frame. And this is what we do with that. We'll make a loop in one end of the cord like so, a little loop, and start that, putting the cord around the frame, into the slots we've made. Now this is a delicate business, it's going to take longer than I've got to be able to show you here, because what you've got to do at this stage is make this absolutely um, uh, precise and make sure that the things are true and square. And to do that, you use a book is a good thing, just to make sure that the, uh, the spars are at the proper angle. And this is where we use the loop. We tie the string through the loop like so, and tighten it like so, and you'll find that that will secure it quite firmly. Then you go around adjusting the, the, uh, the, the, the rigging and getting it dead square with the book. Now, that takes longer than I've got. Here is one ready-made, and if I were to put that down on this bit of paper, show you the next stage of cutting out the, uh, the cover paper for it. Leave plenty of room when you do this uh, around the edges so you can bend that over and, um, and secure it quite well on the frame. And when you're marking the kite out, it's a good idea just to put a wee bit of tape uh, over the spar to hold it in position on the paper, and then we'll glue this down, the spars, the paper down, with a good firm overlay, like so. You can see how that would go. That's a careful job, and again, that will take rather longer uh, than I have to show you today how to do that. So work your way around the kite until um, we've got it covered. I've already glued this around here, glued it down there, here, there, back up to here, and the whole thing is well and truly secured. Then um, I have to attach the tail to it. Um, the tail is made out of two rolls of crepe paper, and I've cut a notch up in the centre there. You can see that, and I've actually glued the small piece back down there for some reinforcers. I s insert this between the two, uh, the, the main spar at the back, and glue it down. 
like so. Now when that's secured, we fold it back over there like that, and that makes that fairly fixed up there. Decoration on the front of the kite, big and bold, filling the whole shape quite simply. And use simple colours. It's going to be seen in the sky and you don't want anything complicated. The, the bridle has got to be one and a half lengths the, the length of the, of the spine. One and a half times the length of the spine. And we'll use that little ring to secure the, the, uh, the bridle on, a little loop like so. And that will secure the bridle in place. It should be about that position so it will fly at that angle. Now we've got our kite, and that's a pretty hurried way of showing how to make one. I hope you've been able to follow. If we were to take this out and give it a go at flying, we'll see what it, uh, what it looks like and if we can actually fly it. Let's go and have a look at it now. Well, here we are in the great outdoors, and just before we have a go at flying our kite, some don'ts. Don't fly it close, close to an airport. Don't fly your kite close to power lines or a railway line and always stand well clear in an open space so there are no tall buildings or tall trees around. The last thing you should do, uh, you should not do, is not drag your kite over the ground to get it launched. Two ways of launching a kite, one is to just release it from your hand when you're standing with your back to the wind and the other way is to have a friend stand downwind and hold the kite for you. We're going to have to do that today because there's not a great deal of breeze about. Right Anne, would you mind taking the kite downwind there? Ta and I'll pay out the line and we'll see if we can get a breeze. That's good. I'll stand with my back to the wind and the breeze is blowing past me towards the kite and there's a breeze there now Anne, that's good. If you'd pay the tail out, let the kite go. Right, I think we've got a... Right, here we go. Good, good. Good, pretty. Now you're flying, you're flying. Really pretty. Really pretty.